You guys remember that situation some months back? Not that long ago, though. Maybe like a month or two, I think. <laughs> Time does fly, though. Maybe it's longer. Anyways, remember that situation where this dad was in debt, like $20,000? Uh, what, what was it again? I think it was uh, Singaporean dollars, if I recall, which was about $14,000 USD converted for his daughter that like took the credit card and used it for Genshin Impact or, excuse me, he gave her the credit card or something for transportation costs and she used it for Genshin Impact. I think that's what it was. Well, there's been news. It seems that he has now been reimbursed the full amount. If you recall, if you saw the first segment, he originally was reimbursed 50%. You know, it was still like $7,000 of debt that you did not expect to have. And so the good news is, as I've already mentioned, he has had all of it returned. Apparently, he has also said that he's no longer going to let his kids use credit cards. Instead, he's going to give them the fixed amount for transportation, phone bills, and other expenses in cash. Probably a good call. Ultimately, I don't know how this was reimbursed, if they did a chargeback on the credit card or not. And if they did, as I mentioned originally, that would almost be a guaranteed ban on the account that had the chargeback, so the daughter's account. I also recall properly, the whole spending went on for a period of like three months or so. So what was she doing? Just like c 6 a bunch of characters and then going to school and like flexing her account on her mobile phone or something? Well, at least it's been resolved and the dad has his money back and I got not much else to add on this situation. As always, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the comments and this will be the third and final segment of the day. Catch you tomorrow for the next one.